Okay, the tube's working. Yay, look at them coming in. Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. Back with uh, Oxygen Not Included. Uh, the tubular update. And I thought I'd continue on with the base I had from the automation update. Because I had a lot of stuff already built and I wanted to get in and start playing with the tubes right away. But we're going to have to actually research them because uh, they're, they're new. I considered starting a base from scratch and I might still do that. Let me know in a comment if you think I should start a new base or whether you want me to just continue on with this one. But I think the patch comes out, uh, or the release comes out officially tomorrow. But what is on the uh, release branch right now is like really quite good. I think they've turned on all the optimizations because this base before I was only getting about two frames per second and now I'm getting about 30 frames per second. So it's really fast for a colony of 40. I'm super happy with it. And I'm going to try to take uh, the population up to maybe 50 or more and see if it can handle it. So I got a lot of projects I have to do though. Uh, oxygen in the base is pretty good. Uh, this area, our little power uh, room right here is not doing as well, but and this corner down here is not as good. I did put some more oxygen production over on this side. So this is our main oxygen room here. It's nice and cool, uh, mainly because of, well, it wasn't a cold biome to start with, but uh, we've got this uh, anti-entropy thing cooling down hydrogen in this room. And for now, I have a row of abyssalite tiles right here, which is keeping all this cold contained. And this room will eventually warm up, and then I can just tear down this abyssalite wall and let the cool uh, cool down this area. Because we want to keep the oxygen that's going into the base fairly cool. This is a bit of a mess here, the piping, but uh, it's essentially filtering out hydrogen, sending it to this generator and this generator here, and sending two full, almost saturated pipes of oxygen to the base from this side. So one from above and one from below here. And then I also have another production oxygen production room over here which I'm probably going to dismantle and move over to the left because it'll stay cool over there with those uh, heat sinks. It's starting to get a little bit warm here. So I'll slowly migrate this stuff over and then we can decommission all this. I also need to get rid of this natural gas because it's uh, overpressurized in here now. And I did, I did get rid of all my natural gas production because I was just going to go all manual power but I might have to put some back just to get rid of the natural gas in that room. Or I could just vent it out. I do have a pipe going from here up into this room here. I could just use a high pressure vent and dump all the natural gas in here. I actually might do that instead. And then get rid of these fertilizer makers. These were consuming our polluted water but I'm thinking of getting rid of them and maybe filtering the water instead. And this water is getting pretty warm, so I might actually just dump it into this cold biome down here. Maybe let it just go all the way down here. And eventually either maybe use it for plants or filter it into clean water. Got a bit of slime lung in there. So yeah, let's get started. Oh, the other issue I have is low pressure in this room here with carbon dioxide. I am piping some CO2 in from down here. It's, it's somewhat warm though, 26 degrees. Ideally it would be cooler. I should probably disable this skimmer here. And we have a new dupe. I might as well just take them on. So we got a diver's lungs, squeamish. This looks good. 41. <laughs> Okay, first things first. Uh, I want to kind of maybe get rid of these fertilizer makers. And turn on this pump so we can start venting this room out. I probably want to build another level of this manual power generation. If we actually check the power here, we got 
producing about four, using about four. So it's kind of in balance with this amount right here, but we're going to need more probably. Now look, we have 15 idle dupes. And that's the reason I switched to manual power from uh, natural gas power, because it gave them something to do. <laughs> Okay, how's this room doing? Six kilograms. It's going to take a while to empty this room out of natural gas. Or at least low, depressurize it and then we can start uh, making oil or refining oil again. I do want to get rid of this heat here. Well, this is going to break for us anyway. Look at that. Let's just help it along. There we go. It'll eventually all cool down in there. Now I guess we could put in some airflow tile, make a bit of a containment area here, probably replace this with airflow tile. Oh no, stuck already. <laughs> And good old hypothermia. Okay, I'll probably start putting more oxygen production over here. And for all this power, I'm using heavy watt wire. It's on our main power grid. And pretty hot water is going in there. Use a uh, bislite tile, or bislite pipe, I mean. Oh, we're actually out of power. Crazy. Okay, we definitely need more power wheels. The nice thing about manual power there is there's no natural gas that you have to worry about. There's no polluted water. It's just raw duplicate power. This reminds me of the Matrix, the movie a bit. We're not stealing their heat, we're stealing their energy. Okay, oxygen in here, not great. Oh, and that's not even hooked up. Silly me. We need that uh, heavy joint plate. There they go. <laughs> okay, let's check out our batteries, how fast they flow. How fast they fill up. Oh, did I <laughs> did I disconnect something? By mistake. I don't think so. No. We should have a surplus. There they go. Produce six point eight, used four. Okay, that'll that should fix itself, except when they're uh sleeping. <laughs> Might as well make it nicer in here. Oh, we're not going to get over the uh, heavy watt wire penalty, but we might as well make it look nice. Put some doors on here instead. that air flow. That's a lot of manual power. <laughs> and all this CO2 should fall down here. It's kind of getting trapped in here, but hopefully a lot of it will go down here. Cooling off in the process and then being sent over into our grow room. I know it's a mess of piping. 
kind of makes me want to start a new base, but... Oh, here's some of the new music. Which I really like. Oh, we sh oh, this is leaking out already. Look at that. Finish off this little holding area. Oh yeah, look at that. It's come down in temperature already. Perfect. Now this polluted water is not going anywhere any anymore because we don't have fertilizer makers in there. Oh, look at this polluted oxygen in here, 38 kilograms. These sealed rooms are there with polluted water. They're pretty crazy. They get really high pressure. Okay, food is it seems stable. Okay, we got a new dupe. Who do we have here? Oh, diver's lungs and buff. Small bladder, that's fine. Kind of, probably gonna run out of mess tables here. Oh no, we got, we got a bunch here. We do have CO2 building up here though. Hmm. Look at them all. Oh, look at the oxygen now. Holy moly. Opening this up helped a ton. That's way better. Or maybe it's because I put two more electrolyzers in. Look at them all standing here freezing. What are you guys doing? They stand in the weirdest places when they're idle. So weird. Okay, we need research, actually. I'm going to put in a research bench somewhere in here. Maybe down here. Not the best place, but... We will not have to research for very long. Stick that there. How much power do we have on this circuit? Uh, a lot, but we're not using this at the moment, so that's okay. We'll just hook that up. Okay, let's uh, research that new stuff. Transit tubes. Now, where should we build our first tube? That is the question. Okay, our research is done. That's everything, I think. Yep. Yeah. That was quick. Might as well deconstruct these. And I'll come back in a bit once we've uh, kind of finished this room here. We had a slight problem here. Too much hydrogen building up. So I'm building a second hydrogen generator. That was kind of limiting the oxygen that we we're sending off to the base. In fact, I want to get I want to reuse this pipe here that has hydrogen right now and instead use it for oxygen to the base. What's oh, going this way too? Hmm. Actually that's perfect. We gotta vacate the... empty all these pipes out. Okay this is pretty much done so I am going to Dig it open. That's going to flood this chamber pretty quickly because it's under high pressure. 
And then we probably just want to lock the door and leave it closed. Here it comes. Get out of there. Okay, let's uh let's lock that door. Someday we might go in and use this, but this is all clearing out nicely. I notice our food is going down slowly. Might want to extend this grow room, but I really want to move all this oxygen over first. So I cut off this hydrogen supply line and it's slowly creeping this way. And once this pipe is completely empty, we can use it as an oxygen pipe instead and feed hydrogen into this uh, cooling thing from up here instead. We could do something a bit crazy where we just, this is all open right now, airflow wise. Actually this is already all open. <laughs> This is all equalized. We might not even need to pipe it over. Oh, getting a bit laggy now. I kind of want to get rid of this polluted water. And what I'm thinking of doing is filtering this and sending it into a few electro electrolyzers. So electrolyzers, maybe like that. And I haven't used a filter in a while. Water sieve. Probably doesn't need to be abyssalite, but you never know. So in, oops, blue water, out, clean water. Let's take a look, zoomed out a little bit here. Oxygen here looks good. Three interior decorators, come on. Forty-three. Okay, look at that thing. It's working. Even more oxygen. <laughs> now I should probably make this permeable all the way up the stack. Now I can enable this again. And they'll move all this disgusting water over here. Maybe we should do exosuits for all these guys. Or better yet, we should make a tube. A tube from here into our growing room. That would work stupendously well. They'd have to run back. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, let's try to put a tube in. I think we can get probably rid of this sink. I'll leave it in just in case and get rid of this uh, these wart. Now, but where is this thing? I think they added made it so that it takes more power. Oh, we might not have room to do this. Actually, hmm. Let's try it. This requires. How many watts? I think it's 960 now. Okay, yeah, 960. Let's just try to hook up the tube first. Transit tube. Now, can we go directly like that? No. I think we need enough clearance to make a little bend. Like 
piss. Uh. I guess we'll take it along here and then maybe dump it in our grow room so they don't have to... so they can just jump in here. Yeah. Let's get rid of this floor. Let's try a crossing tube. Now which way does that go? Like this? Oh, maybe I could have used that for the ladder. Okay. Let's see if they can make their way in there now. Oh, we need power. Okay, this wire is powering all of this stuff, which I'm going to decommission. So let's put the power directly in here. And kill that. There we go. And let's decommission all of this stuff. That might be a bit of a disaster in the base, but... We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Look at them go. Okay. Can they use this little tube? They should be able to. Let's lock this door. Oh no, we can't lock the door. Let's make it so people can only come out. Slight uh, emergency in the base here. Since I cut off that oxygen generation room over here, things got really bad really fast. So temporarily I'm putting in a few electrolyzers. Okay, that should help. There we go. Unreachable food 21. Why can't they reach their food? It's all in here. What is going on? Move to there. Something is terribly wrong here. They can leave. Oh, what's wrong with this guy? Hungry. Move to here. What is he doing? Full bladder, no restrooms. Something is very wrong. Um, move to here. They can get there. Here's the, oh, did I cut off the bathroom? Okay, I'm going to reload the game. It's very broken. Be right back. Okay, reloading the game fixed everything. Now they can all reach their food. I guess there's still a bug in the game. It's supposed to go live tomorrow, so I hope they fix that bug. They were all, uh, they were all messed up. Okay, I think this tube is working now. Or was working when I tested it. Can they go in there? Uh... No. <laughs> Look at them all. Maybe they're trying to get to this food. Uh, I think that might have been the issue before, but they wouldn't go after the food that was accessible. Okay, the tube's working. Yay, look at them coming in. <laughs> And can they get back out? Can they hop up these two steps? They should be able to. Ren, yeah. Okay, so let's block them from going in that way. That way they can only c take the tube in. 
Looks good. This thing has to charge up though. <laughs> yeah, let's put an airlock here instead. Now I don't know if the air is freely passing through here or not. I think it is. So we would want one of these special tiles in here. Now you can't build them over top, so we're going to have to quickly remove that and put this in. Now I think, yeah, they can still go through. Perfect. Now we can probably get rid of this door. Anyway, we got our we got our first two built. I'm happy about that. The expressway to the food room. This probably isn't the best place for the food room. It might be better off closer to the base. Like here. Or even here, now that we've cleared this all out. But it's working pretty well. I still have to run back through the CO2 hallway. I'll probably do some stuff off camera just to clean this up a bit. And in the next episode, maybe uh, build out our food a bit more. And I've been toying with the idea of building a second base on the map somewhere. A self-contained base. But we'll uh, have a think about that. So, as always, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.